God bless you, brothers and sisters. It is my prayer that this is going to be an absolutely amazing week for you. I wanted to take a moment and give a little hot spot announcements uh, to our church and the leaders uh, so that we all can have the same understanding as we close out August and get ready to walk into an amazing September. Again, we wish to thank our young adults uh, who took over the city in a major way. And somebody must have had a prayer uh, because the Lord showed up in an amazing way on Sunday uh, as our young adult uh, ensemble and choir were able to share and went all the way in. We thank God for Brother Terry and, I, and to all that served in any kind of capacity. Uh, God bless you. What we also want to do is to close out the weekend and kind of set a template for 2024 is to have Greek life. That's right, Greek Life Sunday. If you pledge in uh, any way in college, uh, any sorority or fraternity, we want you uh, to come with that paraphernalia on this upcoming Sunday. And guess what? I want you to bring your line, brothers and sisters, your bros, bring your soul rolls, all right? And I call you out, amen. I'm gonna do my best to bring as many alphas as I can, uh, the greatest fraternity in the world. I wanna take a moment and encourage all the brothering uh, who are watching this, don't forget uh, that on next Saturday, Pastor wants to meet with all the brothers of the church. And we're just asking you give a liberal gift of $10. We're going to make sure that that team of helps is going to provide a buffet style breakfast. But there are some things that we wish to talk about as to brothering. Um, and I just really believe that the Muslim brothers should not be uh, one of the few organized and functioning working brotherhood in our community. Uh, but that Christian brothers must work together to understand the times, understand our security protocols, understand how we can support the work during the week and our deacons to have uh, the lay brothers to join hands with them and helping with transportation ministry and so on and so forth. So many things to talk about. And I wanna talk about the launch of a Big Brother uh, program in our church. And I wanna see what kind of commitment I can get from you. So a prayer breakfast for the brethren. I need you to be there at 8 a.m on the first Saturday in September. Inclusive of the first Saturday in September is Labor Day weekend. I do want you to know that we're gonna enjoy Labor Day weekend and I want you to know that first Sunday in September is the last summer day of dress down. That's right. Last day of summer dress down. So what that means to all of our leaders, we're going to be dressed down on first Sunday while we do full communion uh, to the church. Uh, but that would be our last time dressed down. And, and I just thought it would be fitting not to dress up when uh, September the 4th is Labor Day. So let's just stay relaxed and enjoy uh, that Sunday in a special way. So we're dressing down and after first Sunday, after baptism and everything, when we come back on the 10th, uh, we'll be back in full dress attire. Thank you.
Brothers and sisters, are you in tune with what we are trying to accomplish with the bylaws of the church? Uh, we have not uh, updated our bylaws since our inception. So 2013, we had an official bylaws of our church. And now we are, what, what 10 years uh, removed from that, a decade? And so what we did is send out the original, not any modified, uh, but on this upcoming Sunday, you will see a new flyer uh, with a new QR code. It will have the old QR code from the 2013, and then it will have the proposed changes um, that pastor is going to go ahead and add to uh, the bylaws, current bylaws, and then you'll be able to see the amendments to it, okay? When we get to the meetings in September, uh, then what we will do is we will review those and then open the floor, of course, in council to see what other things are needful as a church or leadership that we need to consider to make sure that are very, uh, that are, are added to our bylaws so that we can uh, make sure that all things are well before we get to our December voting times, okay? So you, I want you in tune with those bylaws, all right? Some of you may not be in tune with church government, uh, but it's just good for you to know those things that way that if anything happened against the church, uh, you'll be able to sing and support the church in a way uh, that I think will be pleasing to God. Thank you. These next few announcements are for our ministry servants. I want you to know that we'll be reaching for you uh, because in the last two Wednesdays of September, we will start hosting our finance budget meeting. In the meantime, I'm going to be getting with our uh, acting chairman of deacons along with our bookkeeper and making sure that that team of helps is aware of what our approach is as we go into those two weeks. Uh, we're going to kind of go ahead and close out every accounts payable that has already passed uh, leading up to September and then prepare to go ahead and set the budget for 2024 since those events and all of those expenditures are final. And then what we'll do is show the church how we comprise the finance budget uh, and uh, for our leaders as well. Uh, so you will know how we come up with those figures and how we do what we do from a um, a tax burden um, and what we do, uh, just how we uh, oversee our utilities and, and you know, how do we guesstimate uh, some areas that um, it takes from year to year predicated on the previous analysis of finances that we have just come out of. So we want to show those things so the church is educated. All right. So when you know we say in budget, you know exactly what we're talking about. You know when we don't meet it, what things we're going to have to cut. We talk about contractors, all right? If the church is not meeting its budget, then there's some things that uh, are going into 2024 but we'll have to cut. And so uh, we have to talk about those things. And then the ministry service, listen, we're going to reach out to you and send you a document to fill out uh, just your projections for 2024. Uh, but it won't be after we kind of talk about whether or not uh, some will continue into 2024. I'm not saying anybody will be removed. I am saying that some people may be adjusted to be able to work in other areas that are more needful uh, concerning their spiritual gifts and their talents. And so we'll make sure we finalize all those things. We really want uh, to set a template for our leaders who will come alongside pastor and help this to be a normality every year. Every year we have these review sessions and those committees will oversee those sessions. By the time we get to our November, December meetings, hey, we're voting on a budget that everybody's been inclusive of and know what exactly to expect and it'll make it a whole lot easier for our church from year to year. Okay, thank you. One more thing, ministry servants, I want you to know September the 10th, our ministry director currently, uh, Minister Jaden Clayton, will be visiting with you to make sure he has your time slot confirmed. I want to come on on that Sunday night and visit with each and every one of you on serious business to prepare you for the September review sessions. OK, so don't forget September the 10th. We're going to be on a Zoom and Brother Jaden is going to confirm your time so I can meet with you. Don't forget me. I need to meet with you. OK, thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are so excited for our sister campus. I'm telling you, Pastor Ware and the Saints of Houston, um, Greater Works. We are excited to celebrate with them on October 6th through the 8th for their fifth church anniversary. If you have a heart to go here from Little Rock, do not forget, you can go in the bookstore at any time and you can get the paperwork uh, that shows the agenda or the itinerary rather, and then know how to pay. The pay engines are the same on our church app. Uh, you can come and to the general office and we can assist you with that as well. It's around roughly 200 something dollars uh, to be able to go. It covers your room. We're staying at a wonderful a hotel there. They have got uh, the pricing down to I think around $9,800 per night. Now don't forget if it's $100 a night, that's per room. That means if you got four people, that's just $25. And if you stay two days, that's just $50 per person in the room if you had four people. If you had two people, that's uh, $100, right, for two nights total and so on and so forth. And, and however you want to break it down, if you're going to stay by yourself, the uh, king, single king is the same as a double queen. Same pricing, and however you want to go. I know a lot of you have already told me you are going, and but you're going on your own. Hey, kudos, I look forward to seeing you there. Uh, you have the itinerary. But for those that are going uh, with me on the van, we need an accurate count, so don't forget you have to let us know if you're riding on that so we can tell you what you need to know and what you need to do. And that way, once it's filled up, hey, it's filled up. We do have a ram in the bush, uh, but right now we have not had to activate it. And that is the 20 passenger uh, that my dear friend, Bishop Ronald Wilkerson, uh, is more than kind to uh, uh, allow us to take as well, if needed. All righty, if needed, okay? But two vans means two drivers, twice the liability, and we want to just make sure that we can do the... If you have a heart for your business or your family, you want to support the Houston campus and get a souvenir ad, all right? A fourth of a sheet is $25, a half of a sheet is $50, and a whole sheet is $100 in color, all of them in color. All you have to do is send your uh, information to Pastor Mike Clayton, all right, at gmail.com. I'll take it and uh, make sure that your stuff is totally right uh, that when you see the magazine on that day, it'll be awesome. It's not only a souvenir ad book, but it's also the directory, directory for the Houston campus. So if you have a heart to participate and support that, we would love for you to do so. And you have all the way up to September 24th with that as well. Now, Pastor, how long do I have to pay on my room and my, 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 my pricing to go? You have all the way up until it's time for us to go. But we will suggest that when we get ready to go down to Houston, everything should automatically be paid for. We don't want a, the whole hassle of trying to track nobody down and talk about I'll pay it in December. Y'all know that. So if, if we want you to have your mind made up, if you're going, it need to be paid by the time we get on the van or it's time for us to go. Okay? Thank you. I pray you get a chance to go. Well, brothers and sisters, I thank you for your time and I look forward to seeing you uh, here soon. Please govern yourselves accordingly.